Hello guys, this is the Polyglot Programmer and today we're going to talk about what a Mesh Instance 3D is and what it's used for and some of its use cases, right? So first let's get the obvious question out of the way. What is a Mesh Instance, right? A Mesh Instance is a visual representation of a Mesh that does not have physics. It just exists in the world, right? And what is a mesh, right? A mesh comes from polygon mesh. A polygon is just a collection of vertices, edges, and faces, right? So today we're going to come up with a couple of examples here just to show you how you would use a mesh instance 3D in your, in your world, in your game, um, right? And to get started, uh, what we're going to do here is that we're going to create a, we're going to create a box, right? Right? So let's create a box. Right, so we're gonna add child node. Uh, I already have you just you just type here mesh, and I already had that typed in uh, mesh instance 3D. And okay, so we added a box. Let's call this box. Awesome. Uh, you can see that nothing appear here, right? I I'm moving it up. There's like an invisible thing, right? Why is that? Because this is a mesh instance 3D. This is not the mesh itself, right? So we need to actually select what the mesh is going to be. In this case, let's pick a box. Okay, so we have a box, now we have our mesh instance 3D and the property mesh is set to, to a box mesh, right? Uh, which again, it's a polygon that came from somewhere, someone created this, it's a very, um, very simple mesh. Awesome, right? So if we hit play, you can see that there's no physics, nothing is applied to this guy, this guy can't even move, this guy just simply exists in the world, right? So let's say that if we wanted to make this guy move and, and and have some gravity uh forces applied to it right so what we would do here is that we would would create a rigid body right which rigid body if you look at um yeah if you look at the description here uh it's a physics body which moves uh, which is moved by the physics, uh, by 3D physics simulation, right? So you can have gravity, you can push around, and you can you can do things with it, right? So, uh, and this guy is actually complaining that we do not have a collision shape 3D, so we're gonna do that right now. But before we do that, we're actually gonna, we're gonna move our box within our rigid body. We're gonna come here and we're just gonna uh, reset the transform so the our box is, is, is centered within our rigid body. And since it's complaining for that doesn't have a collision shape 3D, we're gonna add that and we're not gonna go too much into collision today, but basically a collision shape 3D, similarly to the mesh, you need to add a shape to it, right? So I add, we added a shape and you can see here, if you zoom in, there's a little blue line that goes around it and we can use this these red dots to kind of make it bigger or, or, or smaller. So now if we move this guy up, right this guy now has collision and this guy now has physics applied to it right and if we hit play you're gonna see that this fall wait but we have a mesh here we have a floor why did it go through it, it went through exactly for the reason that i said earlier this is only a mesh instance this is the this doesn't have collision this doesn't have um physics just doesn't do anything it just exists right it's just a, a, a collection of of, of uh, faces edges and, and, and vertices so to to add collision to the floor the easiest way to do it we can do it manually we could add like a static body 3d here and then we could add a collision body 3d but the easiest way to do that when you have a match and you just want to add some collision to it uh, without much work is that the, the easiest way is we select ground, we go here to mesh, you see that there's this little button over here, you click here, and then you just say create tri-mesh static body. What this guy is doing is that this guy actually created a static body, right, and a static body, if you look at the description of what it is, a uh, static body is a physics body 3D which, which is static or moves only by the script right so it's it will not have things like gravity applied to it right um and um so it added a static body and also added a collision so now if we hit play uh our box is just gonna bounce off it it didn't bounce but yeah it's just gonna stop because it collided with with this guy right um we can also create our own static bodies here right so we can also come in here 
right we can also come in here we can add a static body um, yeah we can add our static body uh, and within our static body we can add a mesh you can see that the order doesn't really matter so much so you can see here that the mesh is outside the static, static body is inside in here so let's just add another mesh here let's this time let's add I don't know let's add a cylinder right um, and this guy is complaining that it doesn't have a collision shape 3d so we're gonna come in here and I'm gonna add a collision shape 3d and this guy is now complaining that he doesn't have a collision shape so let's come in here what did we get a uh, cylinder right and we added a cylinder uh, I move this guy, uh, let's reset the transform again. Um, usually you want the child object to always be uh, in in the, let's say, in the zero position, center within the parent, because that's easier for you to move things around. And this guy is a static, right? So let, let me make this guy float a little bit here and you guys will see what happens, right? You can see that this guy just floats like because this is a static body it's not a rigid body so it doesn't have things like gravity at that uh, applied to it right and for now the only thing that we've been doing is that we've been using this predative pre pre how to say predative pre predative pre predative pre I don't know we're using the standard shapes here I sorry I, the, the the word just lit my mind uh, but now we're gonna do something else. We're gonna actually import another mesh, right? So I have a collection of meshes here that I that I've been using for another game. So I'm gonna import this burger right here, which I created using Blender, uh, and it, it, it imported to the selected folder. Let me just move this guy around. Okay, and I imported this guy. It's a mesh I exported from I exported exported from Blender, like I said. And I'm just gonna drag this in here, and it's a burger. You can see here. Right, it's a burger, low poly burger. It has a tomato, it has a meat patty, it has cheese. Awesome, um, and it looks like this, right? Because this is this is a, like a this is an asset instance. So I'm gonna right click, make it local, just so you can see what it what's inside. And you can see that this guy has this guy is actually this is a node 3D, and this guy has actually a number of different uh, meshes. Within. And if you click on one of them, you can see here. See, this is a mesh. This is like this. Is the, this is the bottom bun. Uh, this is the top bun. And if I want, I can just move this guy. Um, here, you can see that this is another mesh. You have the tomato. You have the salad. You have the cheese, right? See here, I have the cheese. And these are all mesh instances, right? And they're all uh, they're all grouped together on this parent node. But again, these are all mesh instances. And that's all a mesh instance is. A mesh instance is just a visual representation of a mesh, which is a polygon, which is a collection of vertices, faces, and meshes. And you can use it. Um, you can use it representing a uh, mesh uh, that you created on the third party tool like Blender, or you can use it in a static body, for example, for floors or walls, or you can use it on a rigid body. Uh, applying gravity let's say it could be a platform it could be your uh, something something else and that's all mesh instance 3d is i hope this was helpful um don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips like this and see you next time <laughs>